We're taking a look at this Puma 31 RLQS. I'll put all the details right here and we'll check everything out. So this is a rear living floor plan. You have a ton of open space here. Lots of room for everybody. Huge windows in here, so a lot of lighting coming through. Nice little decorative accent lighting everywhere. You have your freestanding table here, four seats. Kind of decorative chair backings there. Theater reclining seats, huge center console there. A couple of cup holders for you. Overhead storage here. A couple of USB ports there if you needed to charge your devices. And then right here, you can see you have a ton of open floor space. That sofa will fold out to another bed. You have storage on both sides, nice couch side tables, more outlets on both sides, overhead cabinet space here. And then we have your entertainment section. So you can see there is a bit of hidden storage right behind here. So you can utilize all this shelf space and have it right behind your TV once you mount your TV there, as well as add in a DVD player or console because you have those outlets right there. Radio control and built-in speakers here. A little bit of open storage and you have your fireplace right down below. Super spacious kitchen area here. You have this nice big island. You could probably even add a couple of bar stools there if you wanted to since there is a little bit of an extension there. Outlets on the side if you wanted to add an appliance up top. Right over here we have your fridge that's going to run on 12 volts. And then you have this nice big pantry space here. So lots of shelf room. Stainless steel sink, rolling drying tray and cutting board. You have this nice um, residential style hose, which is gonna make it easy to do your dishes. Storage underneath. Oven right over here, three burner cooktop, microwave up top. Another extra counter space. You can add an appliance there in the corner. And then you have drawer space all the way down. And then here you have a couple of coat hooks. This nice little wall accent and decorative wall right behind it. So it gives it a little bit of a different vibe and feel here in the kitchen. And we can step over here toward your bathroom, which is going to be right here. So you have a porcelain foot flush toilet down below. Huge shower space here. You have that little seated area there. Corner shelves built right in. Skylight up above. You're going to have a massive linen storage here. So perfect for linens and toiletries. It goes back really far. Medicine cabinet's kind of angled here. And then you've got a place for your toothbrush and soap. Sink down below. A couple of outlets if you need to plug in a straightener or hair dryer. And then here into your bedroom. You can see you have a ton of space here between your dresser and your bed. There is a little bit of extra room if you wanted to put a king size bed in here. You do have a queen size bed that is standard. Another decorative wall right behind your head. You do have that little window, which there is a shade on there if you wanted to block out the lighting. And then you have overhead cabinet storage. TV can go right up top here if you wanted one. USB ports, a dresser space down below. You have this extra closet space here, which you can access from the outside. Also washer and dryer hookups in here. Shelf up top, and then you're going to have a huge closet space here which you can access from any of those doors you have mirrors right there on the front ac overhead let's take a look at everything else step outside mm -hmm. 